Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In the last video, I have explained inside keyword and unique keyword. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about dist keyword in constraints. So as the name suggests, dist means a distribution here. So distribution of weightage for the variable during the randomization. Okay. So we have seen that when we randomize, uh, when we have a set of values or list of values, we don't have any control for the uh, same value to, to be repeated, right? So we we don't have any control. So by using this distribution constraint, by using this dist keyword with the constraint, we can control that va uh, variable. Okay, we can control the value for the variable. So how many times it has to occur, whether you want the same value to be occur more times. So this thing we can control by using dist keyword. So the dist keyword is helpful whenever to have weighted distribution during randomization and the dist constraint can be used to control the occurrence or repetition of the same value in randomization. For example, if you use the inside keyword, insert constraint, so you will provide the values right inside the curly braces. So for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this values for that values we don't have any control how many times the one has to occur how many times two has to occur so these things we can't control just by using inside or whatever but when we use the dist keyword when we use the dist constraints we can control that value for the variable okay the same values for example you want the value one to be occur more times than the other values two three four so this these things we can control we can control the occurrence or repetition of the same value in randomization okay that means by adjusting the weights we can control the probability of each value being chosen during the randomization okay so this is about distribution keyword here if no weight is specified for an item the default weight is one so if, if you are not using any weight for example when you use the dist keyword if you don't mention any weight uh, that means by default it provides one okay the weight the weight for the item is by default one so this is the important thing and the weight can be any integral uh, system vlog expression okay the uh, variable so that will be any expression so there are two ways to provide weightage for values how we will provide the weightage for the values we will use two operators okay so first we will see the syntax constraint constraint name variable name and keyword dist and inside the curly braces we have to write the value and weight okay the left side is value and the right side is weight here we will say value or item okay for this left side left hand side we will say value or item and the right hand side we will say weight or weightage okay so here we will i said we will use two operators the first one is colon equal operator and the second one is colon slash operator so what is the difference between these two operators i will tell you okay so the first operator colon equal operator assigns the specified weight to the item or if the item is a range to every value in the range that means here you can see in the first constraint okay here i have used uh, colon equal operator right so it will it will assign the specified weight specified weight here 5 okay that will be assigned to the value 2 if it is a range if the item is a range if the item is a range then to every value in the range to every value in the range means 10 11 12 for all the three values this value 8 this weightage 8 will be applied equally okay 8 8 8 for 10 it will apply 8 for 12, 11 8 for 12 8 so the weightage 8 will be distributed equally to all the values in the range okay so this is okay but when it comes to the uh, colon slash operator this operator assigns the specified weight to the item or if the item is range to the range as a whole here i have highlighted why i said to the range as a whole here uh, one uh, one formula is there okay you need to remember that so it is simple only you have to understand that it is here we are using slash right slash means what divide it will this is this this operator um, colon equal operator and colon slash operator same for the single item okay but when it comes to range here the difference comes otherwise this operator and this operator is same for single item it will be different only for the ranges okay here uh, for colon equal operator the uh, weightage will be applied equally right whatever the, we have specified that will be, uh, that will be applied for all the values in the range but here if you use colon slash operator here how the range will be how the weightage will be applied means if there are n values in the range the weight of each value is range weightage by n here we have uh, n means how many um, values are there in the range here 10 down to 12 means 10 11 12 3 values right so the weightage will be 8 by 3 okay 8 by 3 well 8 by 3 what is the value that will be in the um, 
points right so 8 by 3 that value will be applied for 10 11 and 12 Th that this statement means okay to the range as a whole means for 10 down to 12 the weightage will be 8 by 3 okay 8 by 3 what value comes that will be applied for 10 11 12 okay not 8 here like in colon equal operator 8 will be applied to 10 11 12 right but here 8 by 3 will be applied to 10 11 12 i will show you in the example you will understand better okay so but here you need to understand this is the difference but when it comes to the single item there is no difference same value 5 will be applied to 2 here also 5 will be applied to 2 but because one item means 5 by 1 only right F slash means divide 5 by only one item is there 5 by 1 is 5 only so there is no difference but when it comes to range here there is a chance of dividing okay 10 down to 12 means 3 items 8 by 3 well will be th that will be the weightage here only 8 will be the weightage this is the difference between these two operators so this is the main thing in the dist constraint okay you need to understand this so the limitations limitations of the distribution constraint are a dist operation shall not be applied to rand c variables okay and this is the one thing you need to remember when you are using rand c keyword you can't perform the distribution operation okay it is only applied for rand variables rand keyword variables okay we can we cannot use the dist keyword with the rand c variables this is the one limitation and the second one is a dist expression requires that expression contain at least one rand variable okay so this is the one error okay i will show you in the example this statement it will show when you do that okay so a dist expression requires that expression contain at least one rand variable okay so this thing you need to remember and this is the limitation of the distribution constraint so i will show you the example now this is the constraint one okay i have used both the operators first one is colon equal operator here as you can see a is my variable a is my randomized variable okay it is going to randomize now a dist i have a value 100 200 and 300 and the weightage is 1 2 5 okay this is left side is value or item and the right side is weightage right 100 200 300 and weight is 1 2 5 here you can you should understand a is equal to 100 or 200 or 300 with the weightage ratio of 1 down to 2 down to 5 i said probability right we can control the probability or occurrence of a same value during the randomization so when i said probability that is nothing but we will say in the in terms of ratio okay we are not going to uh, calculate the probability actually okay th this is efficient okay efficient manner so it will be easy we will say in the ratio getting the value 100 or 200 or 300 because a is a variable we can choose either 100 or 200 or 300 during the randomization but that choosing that choosing the same value will be in this ratio okay this is the weightage weightage of getting 100 is 1 and weightage of getting 200 is 2 and weightage of getting 300 is 5 1 2 5 this is the probability we can say okay so this is the second example so not second example for example consider you have uh, this this constraint block with this okay you have added one more constraint with the with the this constraint okay this, these are all two different uh, two different constraints okay this constraint block and this constraint blocks you have in the example what is this telling a is not equals to 200 here you have mentioned 200 uh, should be um, you have assigned some weightage to the value 200 but here you are telling a is not equals to 200 that times how it will calculate the uh, probability how it will calculate the um, uh, occurrence of the values here what it will do a is equal to 100 or 300 with the weightage ratio of 1 down to 5 okay it will not go into consider 200 even though if you assign the weightage because constant means what constant is bidirection it will consider all the constraints if you have n number of constraints it will consider all the constant and it will make uh, all constant uh, satisfied okay but here what it is telling a is not equal to 200 that time what it will do it will uh, exclude this and it will consider this 100 and 300 with the ratio 1 is to 5 okay this is the one thing and here you can see we i have a range 100 down to 102 means 100 101 and 102 three values i have and here the weightage is 1 and for for 200 300 i have 2 5 here how is the how the ratio is for each value i said right when we are using colon equal operator for each value the weightage will be equally distributed so the ratio is for 100 1 for 101 1 for 102 same one because this all are in the range so this one will be applied equally and for 200 2 and for 300 5 this is how the probability works here okay this is how we can control our occurrence of the same value during the randomization 
and same applies for this operator okay here same example i have taken okay no difference but you can, here you can see a is equal to 100 or 200 or 300 with a weightage ratio of 1 to 5 because here we have a single item no range no range is applied when no range is applied it will be same and i have added one more constant block same here okay a is not equal to 200 same applies okay because this we have only single item single items um, doesn't make any change okay for this operator or this operator and con come to the last constant a dist here i have a range here the probability will be changed a is equal to 100 or 101 or 102 or 200 or 300 right any one of the value will be chosen because a is a variable okay it is like a uh, inside keyword any one of the value will be chosen but here we are giving the weightage okay so that is um, additional so here you can see weight weightage ratio is for 100 here we have two three elements 100 101 and 102 so uh, weightage is one so what i have told number of values the weightage divided by number of values weightage is one number of values is three right one by three one by three one by three one by three is applied for 100 101 and 102 and for 200 the ratio is two and th for 300 the ratio is five this is the only thing you need to remember okay when it is an when they have given the range that number of items will be divided okay with the range so one divided by three weightage divided by number of items in the range this is the um, about distribution keyword now we will see the example okay so this is my example here i have a class sequence item okay inside the class sequence item i have two variables value one and value two both are of eight widths and i have used the rand keyword okay and I have two constant. In the first constant, I have used colon slash, and in the second constant, I have used colon equal operator. Here you can see uh, uh, value one can be three or five down to eight. Five down to eight means value one can be three or five or six or seven or eight. Okay, value two can be three or uh, five or six or seven or eight. This is how value one we have chosen. The, this is how the values will be chosen for the value one and value two. Okay, three or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 and how the weightage is applied for 3 for the value 3 i have applied weightage 4 and here we have a range range means i have said already told right 5 down to 8 means 4 values are there and i'm using colon slash colon slash means what it will be divided the weightage will be divided by number of values present in the range that means for 5 down to 8 the weightage is total weightage is 1.75 okay 7 by 4 so this 1.75 will be distributed equally for all the uh, values inside the range for 5 1.75 for 6 1.75 for 7 1.75 for 8 1.75 this is how the weightage will be applied for colon slash and if it is a colon equal operator whatever the your whatever the weightage you have specified that will be equally distributed for 3 4 will be applied for 5 7 will be applied for 6 7 will be applied for 7 8 7 will be applied okay so here no uh, division because 7 by 1 is also 7 only so no weight no division and this is how the weightage okay one more thing i forgot to mention if we increase the weightage the probability of getting that value the probability of uh, repeating or occurring uh, occurrence of that value will be increased okay you will uh, see in the output first i will run the code and i will explain okay here I am in the model. I am instantiating the sequence item and I am randomizing for 10 times. Okay. So why I am randomizing 10 times? Because when we increase the randomization, we can see the occurrence, right? So here you can see for the first variable value one. Okay. Value one. Here the weightage four is highest, right? Four is greater than 1.75. So three should occur more times. Here you can see three, 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 three. 3 3 you can see 3 is occurring many times compared to other 5 6 7 8 right because weightage is highest 4 is greater than 1.75 and in the second example for value 2 you can see 4 7 is greater than 4 that means 5 6 7 8 the occurrence of 5 6 7 8 is more than 3 here you can see 5 6 7 8 6 6 again 7 8 3 is only two times uh, here you may not uh, see all the probability but when you increase the randomization you can see the occur number of occurrence of the same value okay so this is how weightage works for randomization value and one more thing i have mentioned uh, rand c keyword will not be used right 
we should not use the rand c keyword with the distribution constant i will use now what will happen we will see i have used the rand c keyword okay for the value one what it is telling a distribution expression in constant must contain at least one random variable right one random variable means we we can use only rand keywords not rand c keyword and one more thing one at least one expression it should contain right this expression should contain at least one or uh, rand variable so here you can see i'm using a variable a a is not randomizing here it is not a randomized variable now i will use a and you will see the output okay here i am not using rand keyword with the a what it is telling a distribution expression in constant must contain at least one random variable so i i said right i have shown the limitation of the distribution constant this is what i am meant so this is all about distribution constant we will see the next keyword in the next video okay thank you